Hi, I'm Jennifer, Jennifer Gilmore, and I'm an author and advocate for women in abusive relationships. Last time I spoke about loneliness and isolation after abuse. Today I want to talk about support after abuse and how we can support others who have experienced domestic abuse as a friend. Um, I want to try and help people understand through my experiences. So I want to talk about the support I have received because I think it's important to actually see how much I was able to access. So when I was in that relationship, um, I knew something was not right, but I didn't exactly know. I couldn't put a finger on it. And I wanted to speak to a solicitor about just a query and but it was a query that could make a difference between staying in that relationship and leaving when i went to the solicitors they basically said i would have to pay them money for a consultation which i think at the time was about 100 to 150 pounds and i just didn't have that kind of money i didn't have 20 pound never mind um or 10 um 10 pound was like 100 pound to me at that time in my life so that one was pretty much scratched out because of that, I called Women's Aid and this was because of a friend's suggestion. And again, Women's Aid weren't able to give me a, an answer to a legal question, but they did point me to the direction of their website and they have a checklist on their website for um, basically, are you experiencing domestic abuse? And so I worked my way through this um, checklist and it's one of those checklists where you fill it out and then at the end it says if you answered yes to any of these questions then you could be experiencing domestic abuse i had answered yes to every single question bar one or two and i think they were to do with immigration or um something like that <clears throat> and that wasn't applicable to me at the time, I still didn't think it was domestic abuse, even though it was written there right in front of my face. Um, I was quite in denial, but it did lead me that kind of support, even though it was just um, online, led me to get in touch with the police and fight for that query. Now, originally, I didn't want to go to the police because I didn't want to waste their time or the public money. And that's how I kind of viewed things back then. Um, but they were actually the people that gave me the most support. They were very empathetic. There wasn't a law in place at the time to help me because I was experiencing coercive, well, predominantly coercive control. And they were just so very helpful and actually facilitated um, sort of fleeing across country and um, with my children and handing myself over to the police in Humberside to, um, to make sure things go kind of smoothly. Um, Cause I was really worried about that aspect. I'm very thankful for them because I don't think I would have done it if it wasn't for that kind of support that I received. When I moved over to Hull in East Yorkshire, I um, obviously handed myself over to the police and then I was flagged with victim support, which is their usual service. Um, but I think because there was no law in place, I didn't receive any kind of official support from victim support because it wasn't, it wasn't directed or it just didn't go anywhere else for me there. Um, so what I did was I self-referred myself to Hull DAP, which is Hull Domestic Abuse Partnership, and it's in Hull in England. So we're talking about the restrictions on regions in a moment. And it's unusual for people to self-refer, but I did, and I needed um, some support. Um, it was nine months after the relationship had ended by that point though um, and I realised that actually it was really for to help me come to terms with things. I gained a support worker who attended the family court system with me which I was very grateful for. Um, they also met up with me and talked through different things and I was able to sort of talk about my experiences and what I'd gone through. They can put me in touch with any relevant service so anything like um, if I was experiencing mental health problems, they could refer me and signpost me to different, you know, things, basically. Um, without them, I would find it a big struggle. And I just want to mention that I was very lucky to access that service because I was classed as a medium risk in Hull. And 
whole deal with medium and high risk cases or at the time they did when I entered it. Um, quite a lot of the UK will only deal with high risk. So if I had lived a bit further that way, I might not have received any of that support, which would be really um, detrimental to my development as a person and character, my path in my journey, because um, I felt that everything was my fault and I was to blame. And Huldap basically educated me on domestic abuse. And that's when I realised that it wasn't my fault and I wasn't to blame. And I totally changed my career path into what I'm doing now. Um, so um, I have had Huldap and I also did access some free counselling through the NHS um, service, limited to the 10 sessions. And um, that is all the free support that I received. The only support that I've paid for is either through self-help books or um, I paid for a parenting coach as well. I didn't have any money, but I still paid for it because I was so scared that my children were going to be affected by the family court system and the abuse that was coming through the children towards me and the state of handover and everything else. So I got a parenting coach who actually didn't help me with my parenting skills. It was more the situation and how to deal with things. And I I was really, that one really did help me, that um, kind of coaching. But there are risks and restrictions on things, which I find really frustrating. And as I say, if I hadn't have accessed that support in in Hull, then I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be bringing awareness to domestic abuse. I think if we took restrictions off things, then people may be able to recover a lot faster, may not access as many services, therefore saving money. Um, but that's my own opinion. Um, so if anybody did need any information on their local services, then please do get in touch with me. Contact at jennifergilmore.com. Happy to help. I'm always directing people to different local support. And then if they're not able to access the support, if there is anything that can be done. So what can we do as a friend? Considering all that and considering the support you could get or not get. Um, well, for me, when I came out of that relationship, I had held on to everything that had happened to me for several years. And so I basically wanted to be able to talk to those that I trusted. Um, and there weren't very many of those kind of people, but I needed to talk about it. I bottled it up for so long. So my first point is listen. My second boy point is be patient because... I remember back then I was anxious and paranoid and depressed and I could not see the light to the end of the tunnel. Um, so it was quite like a vicious circle and I was very much not in a very good place and not very good company. But please do be patient. Three, give guidance. And that guidance could just be helping the conversation. It could mean that you're pushing just a little bit, you know, to point towards some support or help or... Um, speaking to somebody but don't push too much don't keep coming back to that point try and support in a holding hand way <clears throat> and then the the last point I've got number four avoid using words like I understand and basically learn to try and understand <clears throat> it's really difficult when somebody says oh I know what you mean or I understand when actually do you do you really understand? Have you gone through that? And that is a quite a big barrier. That's my talk on support. Gone a bit on longer, but I hope it helps. And I'm just basically sharing what I have experienced so that I can educate other people on just what is out there and what isn't out there, all the restrictions that are put in place. So before I go, I just want to say thank you for listening. And also together we are louder.